last few years, even months, in the world uh, has shown us an intensification in apocalyptic events. And when I say that, I mean the things that are going on in the natural world, and this is probably where the greatest apocalypse is, the natural world, the floods, the earthquakes, the hurricanes, the fires. What is happening in the natural world is unprecedented. The warming of the earth has actually reached uh, a state that they have never uh, imagined possible. Antarctica right now, the huge ice caps are melting. And no doubt, within the next few years, may Allah forbid, but the reality is that in the next few years, we will be witnessing uh, some natural events, which is going to change the relationship of people forever. The earth itself is, in a sense, um, throwing us off. Human beings have become, and to a great extent, like a virus, where we literally infect the body. The places where so-called civilization goes in this past three, four hundred years, it literally infects the, 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 the environment, destroys the water, destroys the atmosphere, and causes confusion. Along with this um, extreme uh, test that we're under, and many of the scientists came to the conclusion, and as I learned about this many years ago uh, when I was living in, in, in Southern Africa, because the scientists of the world had gathered in South Africa, which they considered to be one of the oldest um, places of human life. And they came to the conclusion <clears throat> that we are living in what they call the sixth extinction. Okay, so if you get a chance, Google this thing. Sixth extinction in geology, archaeology, and found that, you know, over the past hundreds and thousands of years, that because of um, climatic change, there have been major extinctions of life forms. So dinosaurs, uh, invertebrates, different things have actually been made extinct, we believe, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if dinosaurs were alive today, we wouldn't have a chance. Um, but by the will of Allah, they, they were wiped out. This is the sixth extinction. And this one, it, scientists who don't believe in, in God, say it is mammals and birds. Mammals and birds, we are being affected the heaviest by this extinction. And right now, over 50% of the mammals and birds on Earth have been destroyed, never to come back. And this sixth extinction, with the environmental change that is going on, is, is causing um, you know, a major uproar uh, and major changes uh, that we are witnessing every day. Politically, the world is now in a very delicate state, right? It is said that the man with the blonde wig down south, he has his finger on the nuclear button. Serious thing. They have more nuclear weapons, more weapons of mass destruction than any society and don't forget, they were the only country to use it before. They used it on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Over 150,000 people died instantly. And the war was already over. The war was over. They did not have to use the bomb. But they dropped the nuclear bomb on Hiroshima in Japan and then Nagasaki. So we are in what they considered to be, and they looked at the time of the world. There's only a few minutes left in actually uh, our existence, politically and militarily. Because if the wrong thing happens and a bomb hits one place, and then the reaction goes, 
there would easily be a nuclear uh, uh, war whose fallout could destroy much of uh, what we know as civilization. Economically, we are, we are at the footsteps of a recession. There was a great recession in 2008, right? There is another one which is about to strike again. And the recent um, tariffs that are going on, the trade wars between US and China, uh, is gonna put us to the brink of a major confusion economically. And right now, the most important institution in all of our mega cities is the bank. Any city that you go to, and I've traveled to a number of countries, right? Anytime you come into a big city, look uh, at that city, if it's part of the so-called Western civilization, and the biggest building is the bank. Usually the next one, insurance. Mark my words, go to any city and look. And you're gonna see. The bankers are actually deciding the politics of the world. And many of your leaders, our leaders, are merely public relations officers. And when the confusion hits economically, right, that's gonna hit the, the, the source, the bottom line. And we Muslims, who uh, have been blessed with the last revelation, we are in the middle of it. We are in the middle of it. And we thought for a long time that this could not hit us. But if we had our eyes open to our sources, we would realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in Surah Al-Anbiya, وَنَبْلُوَكُمْ بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ fitna wa ilayna turja'un. And we shall certainly test you by way of good and evil, and you will all return to us. And a fitna is a trial, a temptation, or punishment. It's even like a, a confusion. We are not sure which way to go. A trial that you're going through in order to be purified. Because it comes from, from, from the fatuna, uh, for the word itself, is used when you purify metals, like gold or different metals, you do it with fire. You burn it to purify it. Okay? And so this is what, what we are going through, a type of purification. 